everybody, I'm Carrie Farinac. Welcome back to NBAA TV Live. We're joining you from the show floor, right by the NBAA booth. We're glad you're with us if you're watching online. I'm joined now by Steve Thorpe. Steve, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks, Steve. It's great to have you. Steve's an award recipient for the Dr. Tony Kern Professionalism Award. And we want to talk a little bit about that, about what you've done to receive that award and what it's like to be recognized by your peers. Well, first of all, it's very humbling. Uh, looking back at the past recipients and my my co-recipients this year, it's a really humbling group to be uh, included in, so that uh, is first in my mind. Um, it's really a, an award um, nominated by your peers, mm -hmm. voted on by the NBA Safety Committee, mm -hmm. as to uh, your kind of ca uh, career progression and how you've contributed to safety, not just within your department, but kind of to uh, business mm -hmm. aviation as a whole. And we've interviewed a couple of award winners. It really is incredible the kinds of things you all are doing to make a difference. Tell us a little bit about what you've done at Merck in terms of that corporate angle to get safety really a focus there. Well, I was involved early on at Merck in developing a uh, standardization program uh, whereby we develop standards, develop SOPs, mm -hmm. and train to those SOPs, and then observe our pilots out on the line uh, in everyday flights to gotcha. uh, see that we're all doing things the way that we've agreed in those mm -hmm. SOPs to do them. So that was one of the first things we did. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was an early adopter and kind of pusher of CFOQA. It's mm -hmm. uh, a big uh, acronym, that, but it means Corporate Flight Operational Quality Assurance. Mm -hmm. And the airlines have been doing that for dozens of years, uh, measuring all that data that comes in those little black boxes that they talk about post-accident, sure. using that data on a real-time basis to uh, analyze how the flight profiles are, are uh, being flown by the pilots. Gotcha. And so in the corporate world, that really ca only came into being since 2006. So oh, wow. I uh, kind of uh, was uh, pushed for our company to be involved in the pilot program in 2006. Mm -hmm. We were one of only two companies for about wow. a year and a half, a year or so to be doing this mm -hmm. with the uh, Flight Safety Foundation. And uh, now there's hundreds of companies that wow. are doing flight data analysis. It's, uh, it's a requirement for airplanes over a certain weight uh, for the ICAO standard to right. be doing this kind of analysis. So, well, so in just a dozen or so years, from two to hundreds of companies. That, that's making a huge difference. Well, I, I like to think so. And I think right. we, we've also um, uh, made a difference in the uh, safety profiles of companies mm -hmm. and how they can prove to their their uh, principles that they're operating in a safe manner as well. Right. One of the things we talked about with one of the other award winners was making sure that co corp companies and corporations understand it has to be a budget item, right? That folks really have to be willing to invest in safety and professionalism, yeah, right? Do you see that too? Sure, the, the budgetary pressures are there, although I mm -hmm. think we're, we're free. It depends on the corporation. There's different, cor different sure. lots of different corporations, but uh, I know at our company, we need to justify but your uh, safety is really kind of a, a uh, we, we really uh, are able to spend what we need to, but be careful about how we spend that. So well uh, uh, we can't just have a, a unlimited budget, sure. but when it's proven to something that works, for example, CFOQA, mm -hmm. um, doing the, the training uh, on a regular basis, doing uh, aircraft training, doing other training such as uh, altitude chamber or crew right. resource management training. Right. It's just uh, going to uh, prove to your companies that it really is making a, a difference. And we talk about how the future is here now at base, right? There are so many exhibitors here that are focused on professionalism, on safety. What are you seeing out here? What kind of trends? What do you think about the show overall? Well, I think uh, the electronic revolution is upon us. Yes. And so um, the fact that we can monitor on a real-time basis not only our flights, but our trips and mm -hmm. the, the dispatching capabilities, um, all that from a, uh, from a digital point of view Which, is yeah. really transformative. And um, look, I, I am, uh, I wouldn't say at the end of my flying career, but I am near that kind of age where I'm thinking about retirement. But it's going to be exciting to see what the changes uh, sure. come down the pike in the next 
five to ten years because I know there's been amazing changes in the last five to ten years. So it seeing feels, all that stuff here at the at base has been amazing. It feels like we were sort of talking about things as if they were off somewhere in the future just two or three years ago, and now here they are on the show floor, right? Yeah. It's amazing how quickly it happens. Just the, the whole digital revolution of, of what we can put in front of us on the airplane on iPads or other uh, d right. devices. Ten years ago, it didn't exist. Right. I remember so coming true. to some of the first base where the iPad was kind of a, well, it's kind of nice, but will the regulators accept it? Well, can we really? Well, it's been embraced and it's now just Now there's been one a, everywhere we go, right? And it <laughs> saves, it saves you a, a, a bunch of weight in the airplane and right. information at our fingertips. So has been amazing. So true. Well, Steve, it'll be exciting to see how things evolve in the coming years, right? Oh, undoubtedly. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being with us. My we really pleasure. appreciate it. And congratulations again on being recognized. Thank you. Thank you.